Hello, I'm Nils. First, a reminder that, of course, this video is not intended as and should not be taken as medical advice. Several supplements have been shown to increase NAD levels in the human body, restoring them to a more youthful level. The two most popular are NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, and NR, nicotinamide riboside. The one that I have the most personal experience with is NMN, so I'll be talking about it in this video. NAD, nicotinamide adenine denucleotide, is essential to many bodily functions, and levels are significantly higher when we're young. Some researchers believe that restoring them to a more youthful level could help reverse or slow down some aspects of the aging process, and that in fact doing so may be one of the most powerful things we can do to begin reversing aging. Raising our NAD levels is obviously not the only important anti-aging intervention, but it's one that has caught the interest of a lot of people. The Harvard Medical School researcher who's done the most to educate the public about NMN, Dr. David Sinclair, has said that he takes one gram of it per day, plus resveratrol and trimethylglycine and a few other supplements. When we talk about grams, remember that we're talking about molecular weight, not volume. In other statements, Dr. Sinclair has said that he takes about a teaspoon a day. So one gram equals one teaspoon of NMN, at least the brand that he's taking. And he's also said that the 250 milligrams that many people in the anti-aging community have said that they're taking is probably too low to really be having much of an effect. Now, since I've mentioned Dr. Sinclair, I should be clear that he has not recommended an exact dose at this point, or even recommended that other people take NMN or NR or other NAD boosters. He has shared the information that he's taking it himself, but he's stopped short of saying that everyone should be taking it. So how much should the rest of us be taking? Should we follow Dr. Sinclair's lead, as many people do, and try to duplicate his regimen? Or is there a way to tailor the dose more specifically to your own body weight and still get the benefits of NMN, maybe without spending quite so much? Now, if you do a Google search for how much NMN people should be taking, which may be how you ran across this video, if you do a search like that, you're going to find a lot of different answers and some arguments, and um, most of them are pretty strongly opinionated. But the answer, according to the authors of a recent research study, is to take a minimum of eight milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day. Here's an excerpt from the study. Given the 100 milligrams per kilogram per day of NMN was able to mitigate most age-associated physiological declines in mice, an equivalent surface area dose for humans would be approximately eight milligrams per kilogram per day, providing hope to translate our findings to humans. If the authors of the study are correct, then to find out how much NMN you need at a minimum, you would first need to find your weight in kilograms, then multiply by eight. If you measure your weight in pounds, first convert pounds to kilograms. To do this, take your weight in pounds and multiply it times 0 0.453592. Then multiply the answer by 8. In my own case, the last time that I weighed myself to estimate a proper dosage, I weighed about 180 pounds. Now, I've lost a little bit of weight since then. I've been, some, been doing some fasting, but we could still use that for calculation purposes. So I would take 180 times 0 0.453592, and that equals 81. Then I multiply that 81 times 8, 
and I end up with 648 milligrams. This means that if I'm following the guidance given in this recent experiment, I would need to take 648 milligrams per day, plus obviously some other things like resveratrol or oleic acid, or perhaps terastilbene, to activate it. To give another example, I have a friend who also takes NMN, and she weighs 120 pounds, or about 54 kilograms. Um, about 54 times 8 equals 432. So if the study's conclusions are accurate, 432 milligrams a day would actually be enough for her to achieve the benefits experienced by the lab animals that have experienced some age reversal in the studies. By the way, an easier calculation, if you know your weight in pounds, would be to just multiply it times 3.63. This will give you almost exactly the same answer as the more complicated formula that I mentioned above. Now, another question that we really should look at, though, is whether the amount recommended in this study is ideal or is just a minimum. One reason that I bring this up is that some people may have factors such as their age, their gender, their health history, their current health situation that could increase their need for NMN. I found that for myself, taking in more than the minimum, just a bit more, feels right. My minimum, again, would be around 648 milligrams per day, but I'm not young, I'm 67, so I've rounded it up to a full gram, which coincidentally is the amount that both David Sinclair and his father are taking. This brings us to the question of how much you should take, and I don't know. Um, I think, you know, you'd have to look at your health situation, you'd have to look at whether you might have a medical history or have had situations that you were dealing with that could have already reduced your NAD levels. Um, NAD is used up when the body is responding to DNA damage or other stressors. If the logic that I'm following makes sense to you, then again, you could calculate how much NMN you'd need to equal, approximately, in terms of your surface area, um, the amount that was given to the mice in the studies. And again, I would go from the one of the two formulas that I was talking about here. But then I would say maybe increase it by about half again. So if you get 500, you might go with 750. If your recommendation based on your body weight is to take a full gram, then ask yourself whether you might want a little bit more than that or a little bit less than that. So I think that when we're dealing with something like NMN, it's also good to experiment and just see what feels right. I also should mention that when I started taking it, I didn't notice anything. And I was a little bit afraid of taking NMN at first because I had had a bad experience with NR and I just wanted to be cautious. I didn't want to um, have the same problems that I had when I was taking NR. And so I tried just taking about 125 milligrams and then 250 milligrams and I didn't notice anything. And then I doubled that to 500 and then I upped that to 750 and then suddenly I felt a real boost in my energy. And I mean a real boost in my energy. It's like both physical and mental energy just really kind of took off. But after having taken it for a while, things kind of calmed down. I think that my body got used to it. So again, I would say, I hope that the information in this video was helpful as a general guideline, but obviously feel free to experiment and listen to your body and trust yourself. Trust your perceptions about whether it's helping and um, whether a little more or a little less might be interesting to try. So I hope this video was helpful and um, it was good spending time with you. As always, I would encourage you to subscribe. Please tell YouTube that you liked this video if you did like it and feel free to post your comments below. 
Also a reminder that if you're looking for a good source for NMN and some other anti-aging supplements, this channel is sponsored by a company called Do Not Age and I do recommend their products. Their NMN is manufactured by Youth Ever, which is a very respected company, and Do Not Age currently, at the time that I'm making this video, has one of the best prices that I'm aware of for NMN, particularly with the discount. To get a discount on all of their products and support this channel, use the discount code PATHWAYS. Be sure to type it in when you're checking out in order to get the discount. Thank you again for coming by the channel. And thank you again for coming by the channel. Take care of yourself and take care of each other.